An API gateway is like a middleman between a client like your phone or computer and a bunch of other computer programs that do stuff in the background. In this brief video, we will explore the fundamental aspect of API gateway and highlight its significance in system design. So let's get started. Generally speaking, here is what an API gateway does in simple steps. It gets a request from your client like your phone or computer, then it checks to make sure the request is valid. It then checks with the security system to make sure the request is allowed and make sure the request isn't happening too often, like if someone is trying to flood the system with request, and then it sends the request to the right place in the background program. The main reason for having an API gateway is to protect the background programs from having outside attacks and to make sure all requests go through one point. But there are other good reasons too. API gateway comes with variety of choices and flavors. To be honest, it is quite a struggle when it comes to choosing an API gateway without digging a bit deeper into the features and matching it to your specific requirements. There are some basic features in API gateway which you must be aware of. Reverse proxy is in fact the single most important reason why most projects adopt API gateway sort of solution. Any mature project which has opened up its API to the outside world would avoid exposing its backend URLs for security reasons and abstracting the complexity of backend services to client applications. This also gives a single point of entry to all client accessing backend APIs. Gateways can route a single incoming URL to multiple backend destinations. This is often useful in microservices architecture, where you want to scale up your applications for high availability or even otherwise if you're running some sort of a cluster server setup. Gateways should also be able to successfully authenticate and allow only trusted clients to access APIs and should also be able to provide some sort of authorization layer. It can also allow or block certain IP addresses to pass through and provides an additional layer of security to your ecosystem, which is useful when you discover a malicious set of addresses trying to bring down your application by using distributed denial of service sort of attacks. API gateways can also provide a way to log usage and other useful metrics related to API calls. It can collect and calculate a wealth of information that flows. You can visualize this data with graphs and charts and should be able to disintegrate the API usage made per client for possible monetization. In fact, analytics can help you answer common questions such as how is my API traffic trending over time? Which API methods are most popular? What is API response time which is fastest or slowest? When is API response time is fastest or slowest? Geographically, where do I see the most API traffic coming from? An API gateway has also the ability of throttling your API calls. In other words, rate limiting, which I have covered in one of my previous videos. For example, you only want to allow 10,000 calls per minute for all consumers or 1,000 calls per minute for a particular consumer base in a particular geographic area. Your API gateway can take care of it. Monitoring is another feature of API Gateway that helps operation teams increase API availability for application developers by providing real-time contextual insights into the API performance and helping to quickly diagnose issues. Now this is not a complete list. Most of the API Gateways also do logging, caching and versioning and there are many other features. There are a lot of different API Gateways out there but some of the most popular ones are Apigee which is now owned by Google Cloud, Amazon API Gateway and Azure API Gateway. In a system design interview, you may be asked to design a scalable and secure system. By understanding the role of API Gateway, you can explain how you would use it to manage traffic, enforce security policies, and ensure high availability. You can also discuss the different features and capabilities of an API Gateway and explain how you would choose the right one for your specific use case. This demonstrates your understanding of system design principles and your ability to design a system that meets the requirements. Let's say that you are designing an e-commerce website that needs to integrate with multiple backend services such as inventory management, order processing and payment gateway. The API gateway will act as the entry point for all external traffic and will route requests to the appropriate backend service. It can also perform tasks such as authentication, rate limiting, load balancing and analytics. By using an API gateway, you can abstract the complexity of the backend services and provide a simplified interface to the clients. This also allows you to easily add or remove backend services as the system evolves. <laughs>